Welcome back to another video. Last time I think we finished that shooter cane farm down there and just showed off some stuff we've been doing off camera. And in between episodes I actually brought some sheep over. Not 100% sure what we're doing today. I think for sure we'll be doing some work on the castle a little bit. But other than that, um, really anything can happen. The first thing I want to do is finish getting the bottom decorated like the rest of it. Um, so basically like this. I want to get it all the way to that wall over there and then the end of that wall on that side as well. And up here, I think I want to start figuring out what I'm going to do here. This wall is probably going to get pushed back at least to here-ish maybe, maybe a little closer. Uh, mainly just so I can put some depth in there and still have some room to walk on this pathway right here. Also debating if I want to round this off right here. I'm not 100% sure I do. Um, it would make sense. Let's see what it's like on the other side. Yeah, it wouldn't really make sense to round it off here, uh, but it doesn't have to be symmetrical or anything. That's kind of um, what I'm trying to stay away from in this build, is making everything symmetrical. Um, if you step back, as you see, this door is not symmetrical to that door. Um, it's not even in the middle, uh, neither is this one. Uh, it's in the middle right now, I guess, but once I get this in, it won't be in the middle. So I'm going to start the work on the bottom, at least for now, and I'll be back when I make some progress. Alright, so I figure I bring you in on a little bit of progress I made. Um, I changed the gate to spruce. Um, not in love with it still. Uh, we might have to do something like this on the gate and maybe change how it is a little bit. Maybe like uh, bring that down one or just take the top off and um, straighten it out there is what I was thinking. I also um, started to bring the water across here. Um, for the drawbridge that we're gonna have, I think. Um, not 100 sure we're still doing that, but I'm just kind of playing with the idea right now. And also, when doing that, uh, I was starting to uh, clear this little mound out right here, and then I kind of saw like a little bit of a cave, so I thought maybe I would go with that for now, and see how that works. So uh, I'm pretty happy with the cave, how it, the entrance looks right now. It would once I build more of it, it would change obviously. But then having the river go through here and um, exit out over there into the ocean would be cool, I thought. And then also terraform the land to be up here to where it's not all on just a flat surface. I think that would make sense, maybe. Yeah, not 100% sure that um, this terraforming is going to stay. I'm just kind of looking at it and seeing how I like it. Right now, I'm pretty happy with it though, um, and what it could be. But I've gotten the corner done. One thing that wasn't simple about it is it's actually not symmetrical. I don't know if symmetrical is the right word, but there's no middle. So uh, I couldn't pit like a, a pillar of wood there. Um, it just wouldn't work anywhere. Started to do the side of it just a little bit. If you end up keeping the terraforming right there, then that window, those two, or I don't even know what they're called. I don't even think they're windows technically. Um, they're just kind of like decoration because you can't see out of it. But those would probably change just because they're right on the ground. And I left this undone for now because I'm not sure how that's going to interact with that yet. I think I'm planning on this just being all stone, like no wood um, to border anything. Uh, right here we have a little five wide gap um, between the tower and this um, building. I'm not really sure what you call this. But right now I think just with how this is laid out, this is going to be pushed over at least one block. To where the tower, or this little um, part that sticks out is going to start here instead of here uh, just because of how this is working I'm not you know what no I think I'm gonna stick with it so I decided to put this back how it originally was um, I pushed this out one how it just was right now and I pushed that out to make this five wide but I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone of always building in odd numbers if you're kind of be double low you'll probably know why that's a thing um, it's not necessarily a rule. Maybe it's a rule, but I remember in some of his, or a lot of his videos, he's always he always talked about uh, building in odd numbers. But yeah, uh, right here I have a little bit of archway. Uh, it's not permanent. I'm just trying to remember that a door would go here. Maybe I'll just put that in right now. Yeah, a little bit of a door there. And I would picture that as like another walkway, I guess, like this maybe. Then I'm still kind of torn on what to do over here. Uh, if I push this back, I'm not sure how great that's going to look. Yeah, I'm going to try rounding that corner out and see how that works. 
No, this guy is back to normal. How did that happen? Did they just randomly go back? Uh, I just really quickly wanted to check if I can milk these um, cows. Perfect, okay. Or I don't know why he changed from a brown mushroom. That's weird. Maybe if you strike him with lightning again, they change back? That's crazy the same cow got struck by lightning twice. I would not believe it. Well, it looks like we have another problem. That seems to be the only cow left. Yeah, when I was trying to get sheep to spawn here, I ended up killing... I think I killed probably all the cows besides that one that was in that um, pit. I did that because I didn't want um, them interfering with um, other passive mobs to be spawning, which I think they would. And before I continue, I did round that corner out, and I like it, so I'm going to stick with it. But the reason we need that milk is because we're going to take a little bit of a break from this. Building is definitely my weakness. Oh, well, I say weakness. I don't think I really have a strong point in Minecraft. Uh, I think everything is pretty much the same. So I'm not very, I'm not like extremely good at redstone, but I'm not extremely good at building. I'm not extremely good at um, whatever else there is in Minecraft. <laughs> I'm going to have to recharge my creative juices on that. But I figured we take a break and put this trident to use. But first, let me get rid of my inventory. Whenever I got this trident, I went ahead and went back to the um, AFK fish farm to see if I had any books. And these are all the books I found. I think loyalty is the highest that you can put on it. And then I think you can get impelling five. Yeah, uh, I think I have an impelling five in here. Number three. Yep, perfect. So I think I already bought a book from it now I think about it. I think maybe we'll grab a channeling book as well. I know there's some things you can't, you can't fit all the enchantments on one trident. Also need to grab a mending book. So we'll have to mend that up. All right, so now that we have pretty much all the books we should need, um, I think most important is loyalty and impaling for right now. Uh, if channeling doesn't go on, that's fine. And then mending obviously to get it back up to full health. Or durability, I suppose. And I actually need to grab one more book. An unbreaking book. Alright, and we should be set to put these all on there. So I'm going to throw mending on there first. Unbreaking. Uh, loyalty. And impelling. And let's see if channeling can go on the same trident. Looks like it, so... Might as well do that, right? Well, I can't seem to find my redstone box. Um, I tend to leave that in places where I almost always forget them. What did I do last with redstone? I think the last thing I worked on was in there, so maybe I did put it in my ender chest? Uh-oh. Uh, obviously not being able to find it sucks, but like my biggest fear is I accidentally didn't pick it up and just despawned. Um, that would probably be the worst case scenario. I guess I can let you guys look back here real quick and what's back here. This was my original setup for the bamboo, uh, but this does not work because bamboo doesn't go in composters. And then I actually have one for the sugarcane, which is actually being used now. Um, we are completely full on sugarcane. Unfortunately, my redstone box is not back here. Uh, I'll actually be back when I find that. If not, then I don't know, honestly. Oh, I bet you I know where it is now I think about it. Perfect. There we go. The reason I wanted my redstone box is to grab a lever and uh, lock these two furnaces up real quick. We'll just throw, um, do I have cactus with me? I do. We'll just throw like a stack of cactus in there. I want to take all of this off and I want to do that again. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So. Yeah, I want to see how much um, it gets this trident up and also maybe have some left over for my Electra. So let's see. Whoa. That was like instant. Holy crap. All right. Uh, I'm not even going to do that one then. Holy crap. Uh, I guess I can keep these levers here. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. And these furnaces have only done probably... Less than two double chests full of smelting, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we're eventually making, well, probably pretty soon making an XP farm. Um, so, yeah. Awesome. Surprisingly, haven't used tridents that much, ever. Um, even when they first came out, um, I took forever to get one in the survival world. 
Not sure I actually said this, but we're actually going to be go taking on a couple of guardian farms real quick. Um, that's why I need the milk to get rid of the um, elder guardians effect. So yeah, uh, let's go head over there. Okay, so we are over here by the first guardian farm. Uh, I figured I'd show you a little bit of how I take one of these down. Probably not too much. I'm probably going to show the aftermath of what I do. Definitely going to be switching from the elytra to the chest plate. The way I get into these is uh, if I can get there before um, I get the effect, then I'll just dig in. Yeah, so right here I can just dig in to the first guy, which he's in, and then I think the other two spawn on the side somewhere, and there's the mining fatigue. So uh, what I do then is take some TNT and redstone blocks and just use them to blow up the uh, structure. I think I'm going to go in now. And, yep, there's one guy. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to end up taking this down and I'll be back. Alright, and we are done. That actually took probably less than like two minutes. Um, it's super easy to kill those guys. They take four hits with a uh, max trident or impaling five on the trident. So that's kind of crazy. Yeah, next thing I'm going to do is actually just look for the um, sponge room if it has one. Oh man, it looks like we hit the jackpot. There's actually two. Maybe that's not the jackpot per se, because I think they can spawn at least three, if not more. But I was starting to lose hope because I, I thought sponge rooms spawn more towards the middle, but I'm pretty sure this is like pretty close to the outside. Yeah, this is on the edge. This is like in the corner, basically. Uh, and I also found the gold room, which I got right here. Uh, I got one guardian's head from that, three sponge already. And they're wet, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and clear these out. It's kind of risky, but since TNT explodes 100% now, I'm going to try it. Uh, hopefully, I don't regret that. Seemed to work. From one room, looks like we got 34, so look right over a stack, and I'm getting hit because I'm not paying attention. Yeah, let's head back over to the island. Also, for whatever reason, when I load um, chunks that haven't been loaded, um, no matter what time of day it is, there's always going to be mobs there. I don't know why that happens. Like, hostile mobs. And there's, like, none right now <laughs> for some reason. This is weird. Yeah, we got a pretty good amount. We got um, a stack and a fourth, so that's really good for one. Okay, so we ended up getting about um, about two, almost two stacks. I think about ten short or two stacks, so that's pretty good. Alright, but now that we're done with that, let's get a little more work done on the castle. Oh man, this could have been our first creeper explosion in the base. Uh, that would have been bad. I thought mobs couldn't spawn in glass. Oh, uh, maybe they spawned on this? Or he spawned on that? It looks pretty dark right there. Uh, please don't show. Yeah, I took a little bit of a break from the castle to start um, planning this out a little bit. Um, this is kind of my idea for how this would be all laid out uh, for the storage room. So basically, the in each um, quadrant, there would be the big gap right here that I just fill in. Perfect. <laughs> and well, we would have the walkway in the middle and then the walkway on the sides and then um, this would allow me to just like float down to the next level if I need to and then fly back up to this level if I need to. If I can fly correctly. And also probably have the a nether or put the nether portal in the middle right here maybe. Um, not 100% sold on that idea. Um, just cause I kind of like having my portals hidden but, uh, I wouldn't mind showcasing it here. Just I don't like zombie pigment everywhere. Portals tend to let pigmen through a lot. But yeah, I figure I start showing what I'm doing here. If mobs can spawn on glass, I think worst case scenario, we would just uh, put a lantern in it in the middle every once in a while. I don't think that would look too horrible. Yeah, I'm about to keep an eye on this and see if uh, mob spawn or not and also this beacons eventually moving. I think I'm planning on Having a beacon here here 
here and here. I uh, also started to do this hallway a little bit. Not really sure what I'm doing with it yet. I remember I told you about the signs, I think, that I put everywhere for what like, I want in each area. And right here I have a concrete maker, but I'm thinking maybe that would be best right here. Because uh, right now there's actually nothing right here. Um, originally I was planning, or the this would be the tree farm, but I actually put it one layer lower. And I don't want to just put the storage for the logs up here. I also have that tunnel dug out a little bit. I guess I can show real quick what I'm planning on over here. Uh, right now, all I'm planning is an elevator slash hallway. Um, and these aren't set in stone or anything. Um, but um, basically, it would be another hallway to connect with the trading hall right here. This is the end of the hallway. And also... An elevator just because there's not a lot of room here so uh, it wouldn't be like anything fancy it'd probably just be like a bubble stream or something so I do have a couple options of what I want to pay here yeah option number one here is the concrete maker um, I would say option number two would be um, storage silos for um, bulk if we come in here uh, this is about halfway full already and I still have um, all of these shulker boxes full of stone, so they need a place to go. But I was also thinking that over there would be a good place for it. Um, just because there's a lot of room over there. There's really nothing over here. Which I don't think you need a huge amount of room for storage silos, but... Um, to be able to have like a nice big hallway for them right here would be nice. And the last option I would be thinking is an XP farm. Specifically, um... Probably like cactus into the furnaces or whatever I can smell the furnaces. Um, so that'd be like cactus. Yeah, I'm really not sure what else I can smell in furnaces now I think about it. Uh, so yeah, I think only real thing that could be farmed really easily that could be smelted in furnaces is cactus. Only reason I wouldn't want that is because it would just be on this side. Uh, I don't think there's enough room to fit it on this side. So I'm actually really thinking concrete maker. So we could have the concrete. Um, I guess I should say concrete converter. Um, you can't really make concrete, but, uh, we have the concrete converter right here and then maybe the storage for it right here. Things like this, I'm really trying not to have things cross over, I suppose. Um, like, if I did the concrete converter and had the storage over here, then, uh, I would have to have a line of water hoppers going over my path. And that just kind of messes with the path, because if I do that, then... Uh, let's say we do it under it, then that pushes the floor or the next level down at least one block. And that kind of just makes everything longer, which I think I might have to do anyway because of the storage room. Um, if we look at it, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks. Or let's say we're on the second level and there's another level before this. So this would be the ceiling. And then there would have to be a gap for the hoppers and then we can get pit the floor for the higher level so basically what I'm saying is we can't just pit the next ceiling to the next level right under this we have to leave at least one gap and I'll probably end up leaving about three to five um uh space or blocks of gap just because um I know like over here um this goes down one two three and then even farther it probably goes down like seven and actually, I don't think I ever showed this. Originally, um, if you can see that hopper right there, it's actually facing this way. So I just had all the hoppers um, lining up with each other going over there. And I would just have one dropper. But they actually get um, backed up really quickly that way. So I actually had to um, fit them all separate and into their own dropper. And this is actually perfect. It doesn't um, back up at all this way. Yeah, I think Concrete Maker is actually the way to go for this um, area. And speaking of the having to pit um, items on the other side, I think we'll end up doing that down here uh, with the tree farm. So we'll have the tree farm right here and we'll actually move the storage to over here. So yeah, I was thinking it would be um, instead of five wide per, it'd be three wide. So we'd have nine double chests per type of log. And then so it'd be like a wall here and then uh, let's get another type of block. And then chest, 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 and then wall, and then chest, 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 and then wall, like that. 
And we would need five of these, I believe. Uh, we might even do six just to have the dark oak around here too. May eventually try to figure out some type of farm for dark oak. Um, back here, I guess. And that'd probably be like way down the road at least because I really don't have a problem farming dark oak. Um, the main reason I built this was actually for acacia. Well, I guess actually the main reason I built this is for the chest and the storage room and hoppers, I suppose. Um, but it's really nice to be able to do acacia because that's the most annoying um, tree to chop down probably. But I might figure out something for dark oak down here later. If anything, it might just be a manual farm. Um, so just have a little area to grow it and then I can have the storage for it down here as well. Um, another thing I realized I forgot to show a little while ago. In the episode we um, started building this, or I showed this I suppose, I actually made a whole chest or a whole shulker box full of hoppers and um, I think this took about about up to like at least here if not actually where it's at. Uh, so at least took half the shulker box which I wasn't necessarily expecting but yeah it's kind of crazy amount of hoppers. And the reason I could do this is because I have the iron farm and the wood farm right there, so I have plenty of resources to do this. But next episode, we'll start on this um, concrete um, maker or converter. Um, just to clarify, we're not making concrete. I guess we're kind of making concrete, but you still have to make it. Like You still have to craft it and then um, put it in water. So basically what this would be is um, we would be able to place the concrete powder uh, next to water and then a piston would push it and then it would keep on pushing them and then uh, we have probably like um, Something similar to the TNT duper over here. Yeah, it definitely wouldn't be like this because this is seven by um, Seven by like five or six Which is over a hundred concrete that would just be sitting there in the system So let's say I needed this much concrete I would actually have to like make double that amount because the they wouldn't be getting blown up until right here. So uh, we have to figure out a different system for that. If you can't tell already, I tend to get off topic very quickly and easily. Um, I apologize for that. But if we come back up here to the castle, uh, I've actually since breeded uh, an okay amount of sheep. I'm probably going to stop there just so they don't get too crammed and too laggy um just eyeballing it i'd say that's about 40 to 50 sheep maybe um so for what i want to do with the sheep that should be plenty or pretty close to where if i do need more i can just breed them up a little more time probably um but i think i showed that side and i've since done this side a little bit and can't fly apparently um this side was a lot more trickier than that side because it's actually a lot longer of a curve, I think. Um, if you head over here, I suppose. This one's just a tiny little curve. It, it's just one curve, but over here, um, it's actually like double that. So there's a curve there and then a curve there. Uh, originally, I tried to have, because this one was symmetrical, I tried to have one going down right there. This didn't look right. And it didn't actually um, line up right either, so maybe it's not perfectly symmetrical, but uh, I ended up going with this, which I'm pretty happy with. And once again, uh, we're not going to mess with that because I'm not sure how I'm going to interact, um, how that's going to interact with that. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm planning. Uh, for right now, we're for sure going to have a little bit of a um, entryway right here, but we might have a little bit of a pathway coming around here as well. To where that would be like probably out to here at least and then uh, I'm not sure what the building the buildings are gonna look out like, look like back here yet so we'll see so basically what I'm saying I'm waiting for everything else to get done <laughs> before I finish that basically all right so I've made a little more progress on the castle I've started to get in this top um, layer I'm just not really sure what to do with it yet I'm really not 100% in love with anything about it so far. I have that right there to see if I want it just to be a straight line or similar to this. I think definitely similar to that's better. For the roof, I started off having spruce and dark right next to each other just to, to compare them. And um, all spruce looked way too weird with um, the pillars right there. So I want all dark. I didn't like the all dark wood 
it's because it looked too dark. Um, so I started to mix in some spruce, and I kind of like that so far. Roofs are definitely like one of the hardest things for me, so I'm going to have to struggle with this for a while probably. I think I need to do something different down here than I did up there. I think maybe I'll keep the windows on the top, and I'm leaning towards not having the red there, but then I'll do something like this um, on this level right here. We got some pretty good work done on the castle and also some planning for the future down there as well as up here. But leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.